Hello everyone. Thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how to prepare a population density map using the ArcGIS. So I have this shape file of Maharashtra state and I'm interested to prepare population density map for this particular shape. So how we can able to download the shape file for that you just need to go to our channel. Okay. In Vikas Gadamode channel, you will see the video there how to download free India state district or taluka shape file or if you want to download it for the any particular country or any different countries you can download it from diva gis shape file okay i will also give the link in the description box how you can able to download the shape file after downloading the shape file we require an population of that particular place okay so i am just searching population of maharashtra district wise so you can just search on the google you will get the population of that particular district okay so in the shape file, if you'll see, I have a different districts are there. Okay. So if you'll right click open attribute table, you will see there are different districts are there. So we require in a population for each and every district. So like here, Ahmednagar is there. Okay. So this is the population of this Ahmednagar. Then there are different, different districts are there and we require a population for that place. So like Thane, I have selected here and if you'll go to here you will see the tiny and we'll get the population of that particular place. Okay. After getting the population, we need to add a new field here. Add a new field by the name of population. And this field I have already added here. And I just copy paste this value there. Okay. Just copy this from tiny and just paste into here. Okay. So like this Pune, what are the districts are given here okay pune so i just copied and i just paste it here so to calculate the population density we require population and we require area of that place so if we have a population and area then we can able to calculate the population density so let's we'll see the formula for that population density if you go to google and search the population density formula you will get the total population divided by total area okay in square kilometer so we'll get the population density so in this case, we have population and now we can able to calculate the area. Okay. So just add a new field area and select float, click on okay and select the area field, just right click and calculate geometry option is there. And I want to calculate in square kilometer. Okay. So just select a square kilometer and just click on okay. So now we have population, which we have taken from the uh, different websites and we have an area. So if we have a population and area, then we can able to calculate the population density. So just go to add field and I will just add population density and just click on float. Okay. And yes. So just select it, right click. Then calculate field calculator option is there field calculator. So here the formula is that population divided by area. Okay. And just click on okay. So now we are getting population density here. Okay. So if you'll see this is having a highest population density suburban because if you'll see in the smaller area, there is a lot of population okay so in the small area if you are having a large population means the density will be more population density will be more so like this now we can use this population density field to prepare our map just right click then properties and just go to this quantities and select here field as a population density okay and we can change the color ramp what are the color ramp you want we can select and just classify this okay so like i will do 100 square kilometer then 500 square kilometer 1000 then 2000 and last i will keep by default okay apply and okay so now you will see this area 
is having a highest population density okay if we'll click if we select the identity tool and just click here you will see the population density of that place okay so <clears throat> like this we can able to prepare a population density map so now we can just go to map layout or layout view and uh, now i want it on landscape so i can select it go to print and paste setup i will select a landscape okay let i will try with uh, some different colors we can also change the color ramp mm. Let I will select this, apply. Okay. So just right click, zoom to layer. And now we can add all the things like the title, legend, scale, all this we can able to add. So from insert, we can add the title. Okay. Population density okay just select it and just right click properties and paste it here just select the different color ramps select the font size then click on apply okay and then we can move it so now i will add a map here just i will shift this map little bit downside and we can add the legend If you want only for a particular number like first six or seven number we want like i will delete this just go to properties and in the labels format labels i will select only for four character apply okay so just go to insert legend next 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 and finish okay so now we can edit this convert to graphics and group you can change it we can add the unit here square kilometer just click on apply and okay now again we can select it group i can add border to it then just go to insert and select the north arrow Now we want latitude longitude select a layer right click on properties the new grids next label so here you can able to change this value but i'll just go by default next next and finish apply i want to do this one is a vertical one so just go to properties and in label is left and right i want vertical i want to change the font size i will select a bold apply okay apply okay so this said only two are coming so what we can do we will add more lat long so just go to properties in the interval I will do as a three here. Okay.
right click properties so this one is one is okay i will do this as a two okay now we can add a scale scale bar select a scale go to properties and select as a kilometer apply okay and okay so this way now our map is ready population density map of maharashtra so just go to net line okay now we can export this just go to file then export i will save in the population density folder so just map so just click on the you can re increase the resolution if you'll do in the starting it will show 96 but now you can increase it up to 300 or whatever the desire you want so just click on the save now we'll go to the folder so this is my map i'll just click on the map population and this way we can able to prepare and population density map very easily so if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment sections thank you